What's up neighbors, Jeremy here with the Big Idea Camp, Canopy 143. Here it is, a new Monday, a new week, a new start for something amazing. Now, I don't know where you are with your excitement about Christmas coming up and the opportunity not only to receive presents, but to give presents. But I wanna ask you, how do you feel about gifts, right? How do you feel about things that are given to you and the emotions of giving it away? Most of us, when we're younger, we actually focus on the getting, right? Like the, sh oh, here's my box, I shake it, and I try to figure out what's in it. But, you know, as we get older a little bit, we de begin to develop this feeling, these emotions about giving. And sometimes it's really cool when you know that you got a quality gift, and you give it to somebody you care about, and you watch them, you know, look at the box a little bit, uh, you know, what's in here, think about it, consider it. And then you watch them unwrap the paper, and then they open up something that they know that you have invested in, maybe not just financially, but emotionally too, right? Mentally, you knew that something in that box would be good for them to make their life better. You brought them joy. Now this month we're discussing joy as the value, right? <clears throat> and we have said that joy is figuring out a way to be happy even when things don't go your way. Now, the older that I get, the more that holidays become sometimes a challenge. It's no longer about getting presents. I love to give presents, but sometimes my mind gets filled with memories. And I have memories of so many Christmases, so many holidays from yesteryear that involve people that I miss in my life. You know, I don't have any grandparents that, that from my, my parents, both of my parents' parents have, have gone, they're, they're in heaven, and I miss them. I miss the memories that I made growing up going to their homes for Christmas, and, and even this past month, my wife's grandmother passed away, and, and you know, we have, I have, you know, 13 years of memories of, of going to their house and hanging out with their families and whatnot, and so it's, it's difficult, right? Sometimes it can be difficult, but here's the joy. I have deep joy knowing that I'm getting, going to be around people that I love, going to be around people that love me, and that we can continue to make memories. As a matter of fact, this past week, my heart was full of joy as my wife and I adopted our second son, Dylan. Now we get to invite him to our family gatherings. Now he is a part of the story. So let me ask you this, who can you invite to your story. It doesn't mean you have to adopt somebody into your family, but who can you invite? I mean, especially this time of the year with the holidays, who can you invite to be a part of your story? It's a great thing. Bring joy to people, make them happy, make it more than happiness. Give something on the insides. Guys, listen, I love you. Hope you have an amazing day. And just I keep looking down on the calendar, making these marks into these big holidays, but I want you to know something. It doesn't need to be Christmas for you to know how special you are. You're amazing. And I love you just the way you are. Talk to you tomorrow.